Okay, hi. Um, my name is Philipp Bauer. I'm a Plone developer from Munich, and I will talk uh, shortly about migrating versioned content. Um, so previously, um, well, obviously, uh, versioning, uh, um, migrating content is a complex and huge task, and there is uh, a talk uh, by, by Fred van Dijk about that. Um, but there was one huge limitation in the past, uh in in all kinds of uh migrations when it came to migrating content that had versions so uh so in in place migrations from archetypes to dexterity and from python 2 to python 3 you always ha lost uh, versions so um let me show you what's new in um and how to do that so i'm sharing my screen here and you can see a beautiful uh, Plone 4 website with some content as an, an image and a event uh, and some text and it this is all versioned content so I did some uh, multiple editions of this so when I click here I can see uh, so the initial version set was version 1 and the second is version 2 and the current one is version 3 and so the, the text changed basically and I did some more changes in the event here uh, where I uh, can compare these and so versioning in bone is to find out who did what one with the content what change did he make and can we sue him something like that uh, so this is uh, for some uh, websites this is very important data uh, and in previous uh, previously you could not keep this information uh, who changed exactly what on the content so um, uh, we have a client uh, called VDE VDE uh, VDE VDE E, so um, one I one E, um, and they uh, had a requirement for a project where they re needed the uh, the the versions. So what you're gonna do, uh, what you can do in the future or from today on, is you export the content from that uh, site, export content using the uh, tool ex collective dot export import, and I'm gonna select everything from so the whole site. I'm gonna ex export the whole site. Uh, and I get, I will include the revisions. Um, I will use a very uh, simple way, just download it on my local machine, uh, but I will include the revisions. And so there's a warning here saying this can significantly slow down the export. So if you have a lot of data, you will, uh, and you have a lot of my uh, versions, um, this will obviously take much longer, but that's the price that you will pay in this case. Uh, I'll press export, and there is a new file called Plone. It's my first, uh, fifth test of this feature here. And in the JSON file that you get uh, when you export it, the data is in a... Uh, well, let me find that. There is a new, uh, uh, new JSON key called uh, export import. Where is it? It should be there somewhere. Uh, versions, versions. Okay, it's not there. Why is it, why is it there? not there? Because I can't type easily. Because I lost something. Hang on. And this is uh, this is the right time, and it should be there, but it's. Seems like it's missing. Why is it missing? Oh, because I just didn't click the button. Ex excellent example. So if you don't click this button, you're not getting uh, the versions. So let me do this again. I'll select everything and I'll press uh, the export button. I get a new file and you instantly hopefully see uh, the difference in size so plone 6 in this way case has export import versions and all the versions are in json in here ah excellent i love these small um errors during presentations that actually show a feature so this was the uh, plone 4 site uh, i had running here locally let me switch this off uh, and I will uh, start a fresh Plone 6 site, um, hopefully, uh, without 
any further issues, uh, I'll go to localhost 8080. There it is. Uh, already have a site, but let me delete that. Um, so I'll create a new site. I'll use a classic site in this case, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't, uh, this is not uh, related to the question which kind of front end you will use. So uh, now I have default content. I don't care about that. So let me delete that quickly. So I have no content in my site. So now I have an empty site aside from the text in the, uh, in, in the front page, import underscore content, uh, get a form, and I can upload my new, uh, the Plon 6 one, obviously, that's what I want because it has the version, version information inside it, and I can say uh, import old versions, all old versions, there's again a warning, this can significantly slow down the import, same as the export. I'll click the button, Bam. Uh, I'll do two cleanup steps uh, that you usually have to do when you do archetypes of dexterity stuff, like fix links to content and reset created and modified dates. I'm not going to care about the, the order in the navigation, stuff like that. But uh, the interesting thing is here. Now, my version 3 is the imported item. And when I go to the uh, navigation, I can see... Uh, the versioning is the whole versioning history. So it was created and it was edited and I can look at the changes and I can see the changes that were actually done maybe 10 years ago in a Plone 4 archetypes site. And uh, I can go back to that old version. I can compare, look at the second version with like version two, it's just the title that I changed. Uh, let's look at the event about the Plon Day, and I did some uh, changes during history uh, editing in the uh, Plon 4 side, and all these changes are now here, and I can uh, look at them, and I can compare them, and I see the difference. For example, here I changed the uh, the image scale and the image and I, uh, the image uh, alignment, and here I changed some text, added some text uh, that I took from the Plon side. So. Um, this is basically at the heart of it. Um, it also actually works. I don't know if you want that, but it works to export uh, archetypes content and import archetypes content, including the versions. Uh, so if that's for someone, yeah, you can you can you can do that if you're crazy enough. Uh, the advice that I can give you is don't use this feature. Try to uh, sell your client on the benefits of having a fresh start in a, with imported content because it will slow down your migrations and it will uh, keep a significant amount of uh, data, uh, da data in your database. So a database without versions is, can obviously be much, much smaller than a database that has all this version information. Um, this is uh, available uh, starting today, which is Sunday. So on Workload Day, um, I will probably have released collective export import in version 1.4. Currently, so today it is still in a um, pull request, uh, but the tests are passing. I wrote some new tests that I actually working today and solve some issues with archetypes and versus dexterity and versioning policies and stuff like that. But uh, so this should be out now if you use collective export import uh, version 1.5. Even though I am proud of this feature, I suggest you consider not using it because it will keep your database slow. But if you need that, um, you can use it. Uh, thank you uh, to the to the client, VDE, VDE. Um, and um, yeah, have fun with this weird feature. Thank you. Bye-bye.